Daily Psalms for the 24th day of the Hebrew month. Chapters 113 through 118. Chapter 113. This psalm recounts some of the wonders of the Exodus from Egypt. Praise the Lord. Offer praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed from now and to all eternity. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is praised. The Lord is high above all nations. His glory transcends the heavens. Who is like you, O Lord, our God, who dwells on high, yet looks down so low upon heaven and earth. He raises the poor from the dusts, lifts the destitute from the dunghill, to seat them with nobles, with nobles of his people. He transforms the barren woman into a household, into a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. Chapter 114. This psalm explains why the tribe of Judah merited kingship. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of a foreign tongue, Judah, became his holy nation, Israel, his domain. The sea saw that and fled. The Jordan turned backward. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like young sheep. What is the matter with you, O sea, that you flee, Jordan, that you turn backwards? Mountains that you skip like rams, hills like young sheep. We do so before the Master, the Creator of the earth, before the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flintstone into a water fountain. Chapter 115. A prayer that God bring this long exile to an end for the sake of his name, that it not be desecrated. Not for our sake, Lord, not for our sake, but for the sake of your name, bestow glory, because of your kindness and your truth. Why should the nation say, where now is their God? Indeed, our God is in heaven. Whatever he desires, he does. Their idols are of silver and gold, the product of human hands. They have a mouth, but cannot speak. They have eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. They have a nose, but cannot smell. Their hands cannot touch. Their feet cannot walk. They can make no sound of their throat. Those who make them will become like them, all who put their trust in them. Israel, trust in the Lord that he is their help and their shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord who is in, who is ever minded of us, may he bless, may he bless the house of Israel. May he bless the house of Aaron. May he bless those who fear the Lord, the small with the great. May the Lord increase blessing upon you, upon you and upon your children. You are blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he gave to the children of man. The dead cannot praise the Lord, nor any who descend into the silence of the grave. But he will bless the Lord now, but we will bless the Lord now, from now to eternity. Praise the Lord. Chapter 116. This psalm contains magnificent praises to God. It also describes David's love for God in light of all the miracles he performed for him. David does not know how to repay God, declaring it impossible to pay back for all God has done for him. I would love if the Lord would listen to my voice, to my supplications. If he would turn his ear to me on the days when I called the pangs of death 
encompassed me and the misery of the grave came upon me, I encountered trouble and sorrow. I invoked the name of the Lord. Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. The Lord, be gracious and righteous, our God. Our God is compassionate. The Lord watches over the simpletons. I was brought low, and he saved me. Return my soul to your tranquility, for the Lord has bestowed goodness upon you. For you have delivered my soul from the death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, I shall walk before the Lord in the lands of the living. I had faith even when I declared, I am greatly afflicted. Even when I said in my, ha in my haste, all men are deceitful. How can I repay the Lord for all his beneficences to me? I will raise the cup of deliverance and proclaim the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Grievous in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his pious ones. I thank you, Lord, that since I am your servant, I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosened my bonds. To you I will bring an offering of thanksgiving and proclaim the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courtyards of the house of the Lord, in the midst of Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Chapter 117 This psalm is of two verses, alludes to the Messianic era, when the children of Israel will enjoy their former glory, all will praise God in fulfillment of the verse, all will then call in the name of God. Praise the Lord, all you nations, extol him, all you peoples. For his kindness was mighty over us, and the truth of the Lord is everlasting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chapter 118. This psalm describes David's immense trust in God. It also contains many praises to God who has fulfilled that which he was, has promised us. Offer praise to the Lord, for he is good, for kindness is everlasting. Let Israel declare that his kindness is everlasting. Let the house of Aaron declare that his kindness is everlasting. Let those who fear the Lord declare that his kindness is everlasting. From out of distress I called to God with abounding relief. God answered me. The Lord is with me. I do not fear what can man do to me. The Lord is with me among my helpers, and I will see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to rely on the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to rely on the Lord than to trust in nobles. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I will cut them down. They surrounded me, they encompassed me, but in the name of the Lord I will cut them down. They surrounded me like the bees, yet they shall be extinguished like fiery thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will cut them down. You, my foes, repeatedly pushed me to fall. But the Lord helped me. God is my strength and song, and he has been a help to me. The sound of rejoicing and deliverance reverberates rever reverberates in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord performs deeds of allor. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord performs deeds of valor. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of God. God has indeed chastised me, but he did not give me up to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and praise God. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous will enter it. I offer thanks to you, for you have answered me, and you have been my deliverance. The stone which the builders scorned has become the chief cornerstone. From the Lord, from the Lord has this come about. It is wondrous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. 
We implore you, Lord, deliver us. We implore you, Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is a benevolent God, and he has given us light. Bind the festival offering with cords until you bring it to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. My God, and I will exalt you. Praise the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness is everlasting. That is the end of the Tehillim, the Psalms for today's date. So, have a great day, and like Rabbi Kivman would say, have the best day ever.